Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dana and we're playing Red Dead Redemption 2. This is my very first playthrough of this game and I'm loving it. I don't know why I take such deep breath, but it's just I'm overwhelmed by how amazing this game is. And I just want to say thank you for being here. I really hope you're enjoying this journey with me. I really am. So without further ado, here's what you missed in the previous episode and then we're gonna start the new episode, okay? <laughs> Italian! We'll take you to him, but of course. <laughs> now you tell me where he is. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an I give you ten. What's the problem, oh fuck, friend? I knew. Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is. And he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That is truth. Breasts <laughs> is truth. Art. It's very tits. There we go. Uh, looks pretty good. On that. Okay, show me this one. Oh! <gasps> Yes. Well, let's go. Possibly uh, take my photograph. Change the pose. Okay. 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 Oh my. Yes. What? Chi Sono qui per picciotto. soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said. He was Why given to him. Did you take his son? This is it? Well, you took your time. Jack, where's your host? Wow. Like I said, you took your time. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. Um, we were less than 15 man. minutes Dutch. Just hey, saying. Friend, uh, thank Mr. Bronte. Mm -hmm. right. Thank Mr. Bronte. You know, Arthur. Mrs. What? Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> no. And us, just simple country boys. Mm mm. Uh, I don't like him. It's we have suspicious. A new set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. No, oh, I'm so glad we got you. the little boy yeah. back. All right. I'm Let's so get happy. This boy back to his mother. You sure yes. you're okay, son? I'm fine. Aww. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm Papa Bronte? I'm sorry. What for? <laughs> for that. For taking so long. I had a mm. fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. Aww. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Whoa! It looks like it's worms, right. but it's Papa delicious. Teach me lots of <laughs> words. Oh, wow. Him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And oh. Fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? <laughs> He's so they cute. Gave me two pairs, one for day Watch. and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. That's so oh, yes. sweet. I have the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? Of she course sure she did. misses you. Like you wouldn't know. Ah! You had a nice night then? Most uh -huh. enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you mm -hmm. fellas get on? Any problems? No, oh, no. Hey, All good. We about doubled the population <laughs> of that graveyard. You know? I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone no. was playing. No, really. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, I... what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, He'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Hey, they're back. Nah, uh, I have this have issue with Dutch. Have to be girl. fair, we got you, your son. Everything. We got him, Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. Aww. Italian. Aww. 
Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Ah. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Aww. Arthur, thank you. Thank you. What about John? I got John? my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Everything's okay now. Ah, big deal. Can I go play now? Ah. So. Well. So? We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is a uh, quite a character. Is he a now? Quite you spaghetti. Ever met an Italian strong man before. <laughs> Not outside of a circus. This is an Italian but strong man. What was that supposed to mean? Him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, Cheers. we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. Mm. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> I have issue with Dutch. Like Arthur you, said, I'm a scout, aren't I? Like, um, <clears throat> I I just I don't know how to say it. Thank feel you. used. I Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. I feel used. I feel. Mm. <laughs> Something ain't right. Um. Woohoo! Oh, we're having a party. Nice. Okay, okay. How about a song? Play us away. Woo! Let's spend some time with the fam, eh? <laughs> Who's singing? Oh, he is. Oh, look at him, little cutie. This is cute. Now, what are we gonna... Let's... Let's have something. Um, do we have something? Anyway, let's have biscuits while everybody else drinks. Huh? Woohoo! That was nice. <laughs> All right. Let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. No. Cute. Come on. The gang are celebrating this safe return of Jack and will be unavailable for other activities for a while. Okay, God. Okay, let's cook some uh, meals, huh? Let's see what we can do. Oh, there's a stew. Never mind, I can eat. Yay! Oh, that's so good. Yay. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. Good if you job, say Arthur. So. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. <laughs> Have a little faith. Yeah, in you, Dutch? Right. I feel like I can breathe again. Thank 
Jones. What is this? I'm sorry if I was well, all beer. I was Lovely. Right. What does it restore? A dead eye. Oh, lovely. There we go. And where can Arthur rest? I, I would assume. Why is there a bounty on my head? Why is there a bloody bounty on my head? Five dollar bounty. Why? Huh? Ladies? Okay. Archer's going nappy nap. Okay, they cleared it out. That's good. Okay, I'm going for a rest. I would assume I have my own room. We'll see, I suppose. It's not this. Could it be that? I hope the boy, the little boy, has his own room. Oh, there we go. This is Arthur's new bed. That's nice. Um, weapons locker? Change clothing? No, I want to rest. Can I rest? Those are my things, yeah. Well, can I rest? I need to sleep. Oh, there. Oh, that's silly. Sleep. There. Um, morning. Couple of hours. Lovely. Hmm. Oh, shoot. I want to hear what he said, but... We must continue. We must continue with our journey. And yeah, I need to have a bit of a conversation with Dutch. I don't know when is that gonna happen, <laughs> but he's an oh, odd my character. Dear Arthur, <gasps> I hope this Shut year finds you well. I wanted to thank it's Mary. you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. That's Whatever nice. happens. I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Aww. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change <sighs> and be the woman I want to be? Why I don't couldn't know. you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life Should is very I? confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. Is she I'm staying at the hotel? Is she for real? I, I I can't even listen to that woman anymore. I swear to God, like what is the matter with her? She judges me constantly. She judges Arthur of the way he lives. Uh, about everything really and she teases him and what the hell is wrong with that woman I most certainly don't appreciate her no I she doesn't deserve Arthur he's too good he's too good and that's the end of it it's just no shit there was the money thing was there I need to donate some cash to this crazy, crazy camp people thingy. Yeah. This was where the cash was, I believe. Morning, Arthur. Oh, well, morning, babes. Wait. Um, uh, oh, come on. It's upstairs. Yeah. But that's my room. No, 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 no. Something ain't right here. Okay, can I exit here? Yes, thank you. Right. Um, let's see what we got. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Um, I do need to see what the Mary Babes needs us for. Um, Mary Beth, um, Hosea, and this would be Leopold Strauss. And what about Mary? Where is Mary? Mary, Saint Denise, she's here. Okay, well, where can I pay my bounty? Can I pay my bounty here? Yes. Um, I don't get why, why I'm paying bounties, but okay. Alright, if they must. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go see. Good morning, Arthur. Well, good morning, good sir. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Morning. This is a nice place. Nice. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, Life is very mm. scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, no. Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <gasps> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. <laughs> Long time ago now. What happened? Mm. <laughs> well, she didn't love me. Yeah, enough, I want to know. <gasps> Bitch. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put exactly. a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, <laughs> I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. What? A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's been taken what? by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. <laughs> Do we need more guns? Oh you my god, I, I love her. Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. She's a woman, this one. Yeah. All right. God. And quick. The roads. No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose hmm. I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What are they now it is. Anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened. We can go she back there. One of them for good reason, but <coughs> clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. <laughs> Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending Oh, herself. Jesus Christ. She I'm fled, sorry, lady. <laughs> she goes right boink. <laughs> I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. Oh, I adore her. You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I She's care. She's a woman, all right. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Well, that was close. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Okay. Whoa. Okay, let's go. Miss Grimshaw? Hi, sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know <laughs> that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Oh, she's she's smart. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last <gasps> Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Sure. 
Okay. She's right here. It's okay. Wow. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. No matter what you thought, it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five oh, of them, I I'll think. get him. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, nice. shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch them. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. All right, get after them. What are they? I can't see them for shit. You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did. They're heading down the hill to the water. They think they're getting away. They got another thing coming. Oh, there they are, by the shoreline! Come on, Miss Tilly, no, but... Miss Gunshot. Can you shoot at them already? Yeah, I got him. I thought you, you... I ride, you shoot, right? We won't. Stay right on their tail, Arthur. Ah, out of bullets. Let's mm. finish these scum. Uh. Are you out of your mind, lady? Oh, you're gonna pay mm -hmm. all of you. Can you That's please insane. shoot? <laughs> oh, this is good. What kind of horse oh, is it? It's not mine. Okay. Right. I think that last one's the boss. Last of women. We'll take him back to Tim. Oh, very good. Don't kill him yet. I want Tim to have the last one. <laughs> Make sure you time up real good. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. Go on, toss him up. What are you waiting for? I haven't used my lasso in a while. I forgot how it works. Cool. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly, so we can all. Oh, I will. Have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. Okay. Shoot, I should have catched them sooner. We're gonna have to ride for days now. You look like a Dalmatian. That's so cute. I've never seen a real horse in those kinds of colors, though. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Do you? Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. <laughs> that? Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? Um, she didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. Well, surprise then. Don't feel good. so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She there you go. My goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you Who's your cousin? Watch oh, shit. I ain't <laughs> sure yet. He didn't say but anything, God, really. You decide what you deserve. You're wasting <laughs> your time with that girl. She's a liar. Shut up. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shut the hell up. What the hell? Exactly. I should have shot the bitch. You're talking like shit about I my girls. Would you shut your mouth now, Anthony? I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. That 
Why did that horse push me off? Why the hell did that horse push me off? Yeah, you could just stop it. Okay. Can I give something to the horsey? There you go, that's better. Oh yeah, the horse's stamina is real weak. So that must be the reason why horse's bonding achieved. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Um. Yeah, we're real close to the roads place. I remember this. It's like, it's funny how the place seems wider than it actually is. Like the places that you go to and from it seems like they're further than they are actually. Right. They're actually real close. Here's your man. Bring him here. Drop him on the ground here. I want oh, I will. a good look at this monster. There you go. So he's still alive then? Ah. He is. Yes. You see this girl? <laughs> you leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she mm. shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now... You want all your boys dead? She had a reason. All what? We was family, Tilly Jackson. You forming boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. She is bruised all over. I go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I mm. slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History okay. is done. History mm -hmm. is never done. <coughs> it's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Oh. I know you Finish would. Finish the bastard off. No, no. He can go. Let's get you home. Like she yeah. wanted. Like Tilly wanted. Get out of here. Okay, you polka dot horse. Where are we going now? Okay, I'll feed you. Okay, so you're better. Okay. Where's my Tennessee? <laughs> Let's patch you. Pa pa patch you. Appaloosa. I finally have a girl horse. Shit. Okay, let's see our map closer. Uh, PR. Who is PR? Professor. Um, oh, we are in Rhodes. Oh, who's PR? Oh, it's a bounty. Okay. Um, Collect this bounty for us to begin hunting an outlaw. Oh, wow. Um, I really want to know what Mary has for me. I really want to see Mary. Yes, we're gonna go see Mary because yep. that woman is un annoying me, but she's pretty. <laughs> And I feel like we need to um, have this slight romance for Arthur because all he's been doing is just doing the jobs for Dutch and like we had a nice time out in the previous episode. We had uh, Arthur all sleek and with new haircut and new clothes and a nice photo sesh. 
He has some nice pictures for Mary now. He can leave some pics with her so she sees what she's been missing. Um, and um, yeah, it feels like he needs this romancing, you know? Mm -hmm. He needs this moment of romance and that's what we're gonna do. And I really want to go back into that town because it's loads of fun. There's a lot of fun stuff to do. They're not like these small towns, which I love. I really do. But Saint Denise or Denise is just so much fun. It's so posh. Um, yeah, I love it. Um, and Mary's there now. I, I love that she's always around. You know, like she she's not with Arthur. No. Mm -mm. But she's always around. Like she's always somewhere. Like <laughs> girl, don't you have things to do on your own? Like honestly. Um but anyway. Uh I don't know the the way the how the time goes in the game, so uh, I'd say quite a lot of time has passed since they saw each other uh, and I helped her brother Jamie um, so yeah that's fair enough that she's around again she was gone and now she's back so um, she needs my help again she says of course this is the only time she needs Arthur like selfish woman selfish woman okay I need to go pay my bounty I feel like because um, otherwise why is he locked? Uh, return to a local that you have previously visited for a fee. Um, the way? Why is it locked? I don't want to be arrested because there's a bounty morning. on my head. Morning, morning. But oh well, we're gonna risk it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, right? Maybe she lives on the outside of the town. Um, um, <laughs> well, that was silly. That was kind of silly, wasn't it? Okay, we're back on it. We're back on it. Please, please, Arthur, don't run into no one. Morning. I'm warning. Mary! Look out. Somebody help me. For your mate Gavin. What's the problem oh. around here? Nothing! Learn how to walk, woman. <gasps> Mary, I'm here. Arthur! Oh. Arthur! Up here! <gasps> you came! Yeah. Of course I did. Okay. <laughs> so, uh... What do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Is that Mary? She looks way different. What are you staring at? That's a nice place. Ah. <laughs> Arthur. Is that Hello, Mary? Mary? You came. Sure. Doesn't look Whenever like Mary. You call for me. I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Again? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. <sighs> I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, huh? than me? Than the exactly. choices you make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Is your way it's right none there? of your business, mm -hmm. woman. Jamie joining a bunch of crazies. An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling. Huh? Is that what mm -hmm. pure life's gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Why? Please. Why would I? I'm sorry. I am 
I should have asked someone else. Then do. But then ask someone well, else. I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think and? how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? No. What else on, what man. else is there? Obviously Where I have going? to. What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is <laughs> beneath you. He's been no, it isn't. gambling and drinking and other things. Oh yeah. filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. Lovely. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I He's can take some prick. consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. I you hate would. it. No, I didn't. Why is she like this? But... Well... I don't know. Oh, she wants to come now. She's just everything I hate in in women, and I'm a woman. So She's like, Des decide to? already. I'm not sure. Obviously, she loves him. Then stop playing with him. Ride around on some old nag. Standing, he's usually falling down. Arthur, he wasn't always this way, but. It has mm -hmm. got worse. Sure, it's he has. Arthur say he has. Pawning things off left and right, mixing Lovely. with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Oh. This is the place. Okay, Mary, lead the way. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Why did you even call for me? Oh wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. <laughs> it's like can't stand there. Why what, can't the I? Yes, in the street. Is it your huh? street? Just get out of here. <laughs> Why? Is it your Shit. street? I know, right? Just get out of here. Just shut Listen, up. Partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone. She go. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll you kill will you. be dead. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean nothing. <laughs> oh my God! My Everyone needs our turn in their life. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind. To kill you myself, Daddy. No. Excuse oh, me. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired I and I am no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Okay. Uh, this way. Keep my distance, or I'll be spotted. Okay. How far is too far, and how how close is too close? He went around the corner. I saw that. Jesus, woman. Were all women like that <laughs> at those times? I'm sorry, I don't mean to be an ass, but like, he went around a corner. Woman, shush it. Hold on. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, <laughs> come on. He just went between those crates. 
which crates? Don't he was just there. Maybe you don't lose sight of him. He's your. F He's your bloody father, isn't he? Oh, come on. Oh, oh Arthur. He's, he's up to no good. Such a silly mission we already. Him. Okay. It's too silly. This way. If he sees me, I'm screwed. If he, if I lose him, I'm screwed. Wait, this is just. Arthur, in... Hey, what the hell is going on here? What the shit? This mission is just complete boo boo right now. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. He's up to no good. He's drunk. He's drunk and he's an idiot. This way. Okay. He went around the corner. I know. Okay, puke. Hold up, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He okay, went he went there. Crates. Yeah, there's many crates. That's the thing. Uh huh. Come here, quick. Mind where you go. <gasps> Mind where you go. Oh. Sorry. Do you oh. think he saw us? I don't think so. Oh, was that me? a romantic moment there? Him. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, Mister? Damn you! <laughs> mm. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, I know, right? You, you could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. You best is she yourself. for real? I look as fine as a lettuce. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Mm. Okay, well, all right, there he is. What's he doing? Counting coins. What do you think he's doing? Well, he's counting coins. Waiting for a woman of dubious morals. He's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. <gasps> Here. No. Here's the money. Is that Mary's brooch? The greeny one that we <laughs> saw? Mm. Oh. Is oh, yes, it is. Family it heir. is. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself come, come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother enough. left it to me. Yeah. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Yeah, me. Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, oh. how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. I won't. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, would you like that? Um. 
He's such a scam. Like, I'm the criminal. Alright, let's go get Mary's brooch back. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. Why are they running? They just bought it. I don't get it. Mary's brooch back. Just fabulous. Shit. Why? <laughs> Why is this so difficult? It's so stupid. Um. What the fuck is happening? <gasps> oh my god! I killed my horse! Oh, finally! Thanks. Oh, okay, cool. Did Gillis put you up to this? The who? Mm. Yeah. Please don't get stuck between I trees because I can't uh, reverse a wagon. Huh. Okay. Well, no, get the stupid brooch I've been trying to get for the whole episode. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. Give me that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. I don't care. How much you want for I killed it? my horse for it. I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. No. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. No. Good enough, Ashton. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> Jesus. Twenty-five dollars. That's my final offer. <sighs> no. Take the damn thing. Thanks. You crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> you don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Yeah, whatever. Okay, whatever. I'm just going. Yep. Return the brooch. Well, I don't want to. Why would I return it? After I killed my horse, spent like 20 minutes on trying to catch the bloody wagon. I'm over with that woman. I don't know what Arthur keeps going back for. Like, honestly. <laughs> Go to your camp. You have Miss Grimshaw. She's a bigger woman than... Bigger and better woman than, than this one will ever be. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. <laughs> Probably best Don't. not. Hey. Give what me a kiss for this at least. Right this moment. Why'd you ask? I'm standing here. <laughs> Talking to you, well, Still, silly woman. Wondering if you wanted to do something. Go to the <laughs> theater, perhaps. She's flirting or something. Sure. Theater? Me? Oh, we were there sure, already, Arthur. Not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. <laughs> oh, How that's cute. You? Don't start. <laughs> You're an Don't idiot. you even. 
but you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair go. with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lim. <laughs> well, look at the I company know, right? I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> sort of mm. beautiful. In a gaudy sort of and it tasteless is. way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <laughs> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. Mm-mm. Okay, shows this here, performance. Right. Sure. After you. No sign seating. Oh my god, what wild times they were living in. Oh, there's like smoke or something coming off. Imagine, I just go away now. Okay, let's watch this. Welcome! Hmm. <laughs> I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As oh, a let's child, talk with her. When I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, sure. I never dreamed of the stir <coughs> I would create so, in this locality. Just starting or not? Are you in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. You see this? For the grandest excitement of your curiosity, fire, snakes, and magic, I encourage any of you um. to dabble in all three. If you have a settled devotion, can I talk with her? Manual labor as I do, for entertainment is a gift that will I love you the through the winter trash. better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly. Stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Kaninsky. Trash. <laughs> okay, go on. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Saint Denis? I've been saying it the wrong way the whole time. Arthur, cheer! Oh, this I love subtitles. <laughs> Saint Denis. <gasps> you have a lady sitting next to you, Arthur. You're a dog. Okay, how much longer? Jesus, <laughs> is Saint Denis. Saint Denis. So draw your money, come see your honey in old Saint Denis. That's so cool. Well Woohoo! That girl can 
Nice. <laughs> bye bye. I'd say so. Let's go, Mary. <sighs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, that's what you get, lady. Oh. My life wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I knew it. I can't lie to you. I want it, man, Mary. If I, if anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time, it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. He can't. I want to. More than anything, I want uh. to. Oh. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. I have 3,000. I'll have some. I know you won't run away. Mary, don't you say that. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town, and I can't go back. Oh, to I see. That's another story. I'll write you. Okay, of course you will. Bye bye, Mary. Bye bye. Ugh. Oh, Arthur. Ugh. Well, you see. Let me let me see if I can pay my bounty. Um That's the scoundrel. I hate him. Excuse oh, me? I got three thousand. I'll attend to you you shortly. I need to pay my bounty. How can one crook raise so much hell? Oh, I don't know. Not pay his service? Oh fuck it, I'll play all of it. I'm a it's weirdo. A prize for the outlaw way of life. Whatever. Can I send the send the little 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 to to, to, to Mary? <laughs> no, this will be a finito of our. <laughs> episode arthur had another almost lovely day out i um we didn't do many missions these were just side missions and um yeah miss linton she's awesome i think grimshaw grimshaw sorry uh she's awesome she's all the woman that arthur would need ever she's brave and she's awesome mary she she's uh, a whiny 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 i don't like her she doesn't deserve Arthur. Um, she does want to be with him, but he wants to provide for her, you know? He needs money. DM, come on, seriously. Um, yeah, but the missions, they seemed a bit odd. Like, following her father, getting busted there because I take too long or too, 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 you know, like, it was just so silly and the freaking cart thing. But anyway, I had a great time. I really loved these interactions between the characters and, and Arthur deserves some love in his life, you know? He's he's a good fella. He needs loving. So yeah, I wanna say big thanks for sticking around. Um, if you watched it watch this video this far, you're an absolute legend. Um kisses kisses. Uh, have a beautiful day and I hope I'll see you on the next video, okay? Bye!